on the question of constituency apportionment and limitation. I note that IBC, which to its credit, has not appealed against the findings of the learned judges on the aspects of the case, is required under, that, under the BBI bill to determine the boundaries of the 70 extra constituencies within 76 months of the commencement of the act uh, in the counties among which the new constituencies are said to are spread in the manner specified. The learned judges undertook a detailed historical account of constituency delimitations, which goes to show how the matter is a delicate, emotive, and often highly contentious exercise and are guarded by what Krigler report termed the gross disparities in the voting populations and gross disparity in the size of Kenya's constituencies. Uh, in a report by the IIBRC, it identified historical injustices and past gerrymandering as having highly contributed to the 2007 post-election debacle. Now, uh, I have generally agreed with the learned judges, uh, and I, am, uh, I hold without hesitation in rejecting the complaint that the learned judges heard in not exercising judicial restraint or constitutional avoidance that I'm in full agreement with this court reasoning and holding uh, aforesaid, and that is in the case of Coalition for Democracy called uh, versus the Republic. Um, it resonates with what I stated earlier when treating of the basic structure doctrine that the Constitution places on judges an unmistakable obligation to defend the Constitution where there is real, clear, and present danger of violation or contravention of rights or an unlawful tinkering with or alteration of the Constitution's basic structure, such as portended by some of the provisions of the BBI Amendment Bill, the courts, when moved, must take defensive action in aid of the Constitution, even by making a preemptive strike that ensures that threatened and constitutional, constitutional amendments do not see the light of day. Uh, I, have, I have again seen, um, refer to Mr. Karoli's arguments uh, in which he talks about the difference between the power of uh, uh, IBC over, over wards and over constituencies, which I agree with, but a careful reading of the judgment does not suggest to me that the learned judges held that the number of constituencies cannot be altered. I think they stated the opposite and quite emphatically and unambiguously so, which again I have quoted them. What the learned judges did hold was that it was impermissible for the BBI amendment bill to directly allocate and apportion the 70 extra constituencies it created without the limitation exercise that is commanded and provided for in detail by an under to be undertaken by IBC in Article 89 which lists the limit, uh, and Article 84, 88, 4, which lists the delimitation of constituencies and words as one of the particular, and I dare say, exclusive responsibilities of IABC. To my mind, the protective role of independence commissions over the sovereignty of the people is of critical, over the delegation of the sovereignty of the people is of critical and vital importance and can only be attained by a jealous and uncompromising assertion, ex exercise, and defense of their independence. Independent commissions are charged with the duty of vigilantly and keenly ensuring that the state organs to which sovereign power is delegated maintain the stance of delegates accountable to their principles and remain always the servants of the people. And therein lies the absolute necessity of the independence of those commissions being kept firm and inviolate. I would thus hold that seeing how critical the independence of independence commissions is to the sovereignty of the people, it has to be part of the basic structure of the constitution, which is given express amplitude by entrenchment. Having taken this view, it should be obvious that I find the provisions of the BBI amendment bill to be unconstitutional attack, to be an unconstitutional attack on the independence of the IBC and materially seek to alter by the operation of various of its provisions, the, limit, the limitation scheme set out in Article 891 of the constitution. It effectively attempts to repeal that provision without saying so by stilt and subterfuge. 